Hey there, this is Jim with This Old Coach Everything RV. And I am starting the main cabin part of uh, the laying down of the vinyl plank flooring. And but first I gotta get this dreaded carpet up. So I started the tear out and what I decided to do to make it a little easier is to take the captain's chair out, passenger side. And it wasn't too hard, just four bolts. Chair came right up. And I'm gonna have to take off the doghouse. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, just go ahead and do this little section so that I can put stuff back. So okay, so so far and I've really lucked out with the fact that there's no staples in the padding. So all right, that's a plus one. Uh, really quick, I put my first run run in. I had to cut it off at the edge of the steps there. And uh, it's going in pretty smooth. So here it is. Okay, so this is as far as I've gotten. And uh, I've gotten to the steps. And what I did was I took out the captain's chair, and I think I already said this, to make it easier to work around. But I'm going to put it back so I have more room to work. So. This basically took me by myself most of the day. So I made a few mistakes. You gotta be really careful about which edge you cut off because uh, on two of my pieces, I cut off the wrong edge and I got really frustrated. So just uh, just be careful. Okay. Well, I've made a bunch of tough cuts and I was able to make it work. It was the most time I spent trying to get those pieces under there the right angles, messed up a couple pieces, but in the end it came together pretty nice. All right, so I'm back at it. And as you can see, I removed the captain's chair which has made huge difference. But uh, one of the things that I have to contend with now is the leveling system. I'm gonna have to, cause I want the floor to go up, come up underneath those controllers. So I gotta figure out how to get that out and that out uh, without, so I tell you what, buyer beware when you're buying an RV for rotten walls and rotten floors. I had to pull out this entire uh, subfloor because it was rotten. There was a leak in the window over here. And, uh, but anyways, this took me hours to get through. Now, yeah, a little progress report. I've got this one piece in. I went and got a paddle bit. That was big enough to put this uh, piece through. This uh, this is for the seat. And um, and what I did was this uh, this piece I put in was a little bit too low. So I took some of the scrap pieces of vinyl flooring. And I put it up underneath it, and it leveled it out nice and neat. So. Okay, as you can see. Day and a half later, uh, I've got the subfloor put in. This was quite a task, it took almost two days to do this. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and start laying the, uh, the laminate for the vinyl from here across so that way I can get that captain chair put back in and get it all sealed up. Okay, folks, me again. I just wanted to show you a little trick about getting this carpet. If you got carpet underneath the slide, it only goes out about, in ours, about four inches. And uh, I was able to grab it with a pair of channel locks. You can see this. And, uh, and you can just see it just comes out pretty simple. And you, I think you, it's really a good idea to get that out from underneath there. Um, I almost, I almost closed my slide and I think it would have caused a problem. When it went back, it could have bunched up underneath there. So take care when you're doing that. Get that carpet up underneath. And the rollers look pretty good. So anyway, that's it. Okay, a little bit more uh, done. Making my way down the center aisle. It's looking good. And now I'm ready to coast because most of my hard cuts are now done. And uh, getting around the doghouse leveling that out, replacing the sub for That was the hardest part of the job. The rest of it is easy. Just click and tap and you're good. Well, I just wanted to show you all the progress so far. And 
I was able to get most of that area underneath the captain's chair. And uh, just a few more cuts over there, but I think one more day and I'm gonna be finished with at least the flooring. And then I gotta do the trim work, but yeah, I've been going at it since uh, 10 o'clock this morning. It's about 11 o'clock right now. And so. All right, so one quick little trick. You see these tracks? Go uh, take a vacuum right before you put it in. Vacuum all the tracks out. Like for instance, when I'm getting ready to put this in, I came back and I'm vacuuming out all of the tracks so there's no trash or anything in there. And it's really, really helped these boards going a lot smoother. Little tip and trick. Okay, I just wanted to give a progress report. And I was able to get back in here in the bedroom. And uh, I decided not to put flooring in there. It's covered up by the bed. And uh, so I was able to get the flooring underneath there by pulling the carpet all the way out. And uh, yeah, it's coming out pretty good. So I'm in doing the bathroom now. I'm almost finished. And it's a good idea to take your toilet out. It's not that hard. It's uh, four screws and two bolts. And I uh, was able to get that out and clear it up underneath the door jams. Able to get uh, the planking underneath there. And it's looking pretty good. I just had to cut that to fit. And I'll be on to my next one. So this is one of the ideas you guys might be able to do around the outside of your slide is I've cut these little strips with my table saw and I am uh, using liquid nails to put it on and it's going to be my border there and then I'll put a, a corner corner piece on the top of that and that'll give it a nice finished look it's an idea okay so another idea that I came up with is I took my some scrap pieces and I've lined uh, the perimeter of the slide out and it just came out really good. I'm going to put the piece of crown molding in. I painted that as well and I'm uh, going to paint this wall I think white white and uh, but anyway that's why you can do a lot of cool things with the scrap pieces and because uh, I had a little bit left over and I think it came out really nice. Okay so as you can see I've taken my scrap pieces and I was able to do the entryway here. It's hard to see, it's kind of dark, but, uh, but I'm gonna do both sides of this. And so far it's come out looking really nice. Happy with it. It's Jim Laverde coming at you again, and thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope it was helpful to you. And um, I just wanted to let you know a few things more that you should know going into a job like this. Number one, <clears throat> it cost about um, about 900 bucks for the floor, and that was for about 275 square feet. And I did use just about every plank and um, probably about a hundred dollars for extra stuff like i bought the contour tool and the mallet and the tapping tool and everything like that so with that being said about a thousand bucks is going to get you done on a job like this um, but also here's here are the tools uh, that i also used i used a, a, a chop saw a table saw a jigsaw a mallet spacers a tapping tool a razor knife a tape measure, nail gun, liquid nails, uh, carpenter square, and contour gauge, and a work table with saw horses. And just having those things are going to obviously make your job a lot easier. And so 
But anyways, thank you so much again uh, for watching. If you liked the video, can you hit the like button? Um, trying to develop this channel. And for those who, who uh, have a passion for RVs. And so I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.